All right, let's get right into it. So Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame, and Oklahoma get in. Georgia and Ohio State in the outside looking in. Did the committee get it right? I believe they did. Uh, I, I don't know where the Georgia excitement came from in, in losing the SEC championship game. They played well. It was a good game. They had their chances. They didn't get it done, so they don't get in. Tuesday night, when the committee put Oklahoma at number five and Ohio State at number six, that basically meant that if Oklahoma beats number 14 Texas, they're in, regardless of what Ohio State does against number 21 Northwestern. So that's already set up. Oklahoma won, and they're in. I got to tell you, Joey, I, I sort of disagree with you. But before I say anything, let me take a moment to give props to Jalen Hurts. I was, I was like, the man can't throw, all right? I love him as an athlete, but he can't throw. But to show up in that game Saturday and do what he did, if there was ever a day where a guy deserves props, it's today. Jalen Hurts deserves all the props in the world. I was very, very happy for him. Having said that, let me, get, let me get back to this postseason deal. I think that Ohio State made a stronger argument that they should be in simply because of – them stomping the number one defense in the nation in um in uh in in in, in Michigan. Michigan. All right yeah. now, I, I but it's not like I think Oklahoma should be at. I think there should be a debate as to whether or not Oklahoma or Notre Dame belongs in there. What is your take on that? Well, what I think if if people who want Georgia to get in, because they're saying all we want is the four best teams, regardless of record, regardless of when you lost. If that's your thinking, then Notre Dame needs to be in that conversation. Because if we line these teams up, and, and we mentioned it yesterday, Vegas would have Notre Dame an underdog to Ohio State, Oklahoma, and Georgia. And so if we throw away this idea of uh, conference championships uh, going undefeated, if you have one or two losses, then I agree with you in the idea of Looking at the best teams, I don't know that Notre Dame is one of the four best teams in the country, but they are an undefeated, and I have no problem with them getting in. The other side of that is Ohio State. I understand what they did at the end. Uh, Michigan being the number one ranked defense in the country, nobody with eyesight watched the Ohio State game and said, hey, that's the number one defense in the country. Now, Ohio State's very talented uh, with a lot of speed, but Michigan wasn't what we thought they were. If this Ohio State team had showed up this way earlier in the season, the way they finished against Michigan, against Northwestern, we wouldn't be having this conversation about Georgia, about Oklahoma, about anybody else. If they played this kind of football for the whole season, they would be in and they would not have lost to Purdue. Yeah, Joey, I, I, listen, how much of this is – what the job of the committee actually is, right? Like the best team, the best team right now, the team with the chance to win, because to me, let's leave the undefeated teams out and say they got their berth, whatever the strength of their schedule or record rather, which is a better indicator, better metric is. Ohio State has a bad loss. They got whooped up by Purdue. Uh, Georgia has a bad loss. They got whooped up by LSU. And then if they want to get in, then beat Alabama. But they lost to Alabama. Meantime, Oklahoma has that one close loss that they avenged in a rivalry game. So, so what is the committee really doing here? Are they doing their jobs? The team with the best chance to win? Is it overall season? Is it who's the hottest? What are they doing? Yeah, I, I agree with you, and I brought this up yesterday. We kept talking about Georgia against Alabama in SEC championship game, like that was the game that mattered to Georgia. No, it was a 36-16 loss to LSU. That's the one that kept you out of it. And so I agree with you, and their job is to find the four best teams, but at the same time, you can't reward a team for losing. I mean, that, that goes into the equation and I love the matchup. I cannot wait to see Kyler Murray, a Lincoln Riley offense of Oklahoma, going against Nick Saban, Alabama's defense. That sounds like a terrific game to me. We watched Georgia play exactly. Alabama. Oh, Great game. Exactly. They didn't get done. Please. Puncher's yeah, chance. Joey, their Joey shot. puncher's chance, right? Wouldn't you at least like to see a puncher's chance from Oklahoma? Well, here's the thing. Can Alabama score with them? We know Oklahoma's defense is absolutely terrible. But their offense is astronomical in what they're doing. And so let's see the matchup. Let's watch it. Let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to somebody can take Alabama to a shootout and say, let's see if you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best offense in the country. I look forward to it. They absolutely have a puncher's chance.
Max and uh, Joey just answered it, but Stephen A., am I the only one that would have wanted to see Georgia-Alabama rematch? Well, probably so, only because I if you're Georgia and you get stomped by LSU and then you know you got a national championship on the line by having to win the SEC championship game and you have a 14-point lead and lose it, that's on you. I, I mean, see, I get, the, the, see, the fact is, is that – Georgia it, 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 could get But I will say this. Let me get – hold on, Max, because I want to get to you and Joey on this. I'm glad y'all want to see it. I, I view Alabama versus Oklahoma as simply this. Alabama need to stop them twice. That's it. Make them punt twice. Other than that, the game's over. Because that's how awful Oklahoma's defense is. I don't if, if Ala, listen, Joey, am I wrong? Am I wrong in having this attitude? Okay? And respect to Oklahoma and Lincoln Riley for what they do offensively. Defensively, even though they showed up against Texas, it's not like Texas is Alabama or Georgia or something. But I looked at Oklahoma and I said to myself, you know what? I'd, I'd be shocked if they got Alabama to punt in a college football playoff. If Alabama punted once, I'd be shocked. That's how awful their defense is. How is that something to look forward to? <laughs> but that's how Oklahoma plays the game. Like, we, we keep trying to put Oklahoma into this box of offense, defense, special teams. That's right. That's football. That's not their box. Their right. box. Have you ever seen arena football? Where they yes. don't kick field goals, they go for it on fourth down because they know you win by scoring touchdowns. Did you watch West Virginia play <coughs> Oklahoma? It mm -hmm. was fourth and five on like the 10 yard line going in. They went for it because they realized you don't beat Oklahoma by kicking field goals. So everyone plays mm -hmm. Oklahoma with that mindset. Can yeah. we stop them a couple times and then we have a chance to win? We'll see. All right. Yeah.